Welcome back to Dedication. This is Zeth. Today I'm going to be giving an update on BNGO. Make sure to watch my previous video in the description after this one here for the full picture for this company, including financials, uh, a little bit of different trends in the back. So I'm going to do here traditional, uh, sorry, te technical analysis, and we're going to move on with recent news and where I think this stock is going to move on. Before we move forward, please drop a share, uh, subscribe to the channel. Share the video at the end and like this video to help this channel grow to get more videos like this one. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. You get to see here on the MACD that the stock has been a little bit more turbulent. Now, this is the second time we see an MACD that is looking very much like this one here. You get to see it's almost identical to the one here before. And in terms of volumes, we, we saw a little bit of an anomaly here. You have high volume, lower volume, and it's almost the exact same relative volume. Unbalanced looks identical, so that might be a little bit uh, of an interesting play that we're seeing, and it actually does hold a pattern that'll go in a second. Average directional index is above 50 right now, so that's usually a warning sign to uh, cash out from the stock and realize your uh, profits if you have them. Uh, going on towards momentum, it seems that the momentum is a little bit turbulent, but still quite high. Average directional index is sitting in around neutral. The stock price is still above the 200 SMA. And usually the 200 SMA, once it crosses below, that's when you want to sell technically if the stock is above it. And that's around 0.77. So that's where I will put my stop limit. 10 SMA is above the 30 SMA and the stock price is above the 50 SMA. Now when I say that's where I put my stock, my stop limit, it has dipped quite before at around 0.7 before and jumped back up. So that might be a little bit dangerous, but it depends on your risk and now assessment. Now going on towards the one hour intervals, what we get to see here is something a little bit more interesting. You get to see average directional index shows that there was a sloppy, went to uh, suggestion, suggestion that a trend might be forming and then went back to sloppy. It looks like it's actually being oversold at this period uh, with dipping a little bit to neutral. Momentum seems to be negative today, which is a little bit weird, but very similar to what we've seen around this period here. You get to see it's a very similar trend. The MACD seems to be negative and it's curling upwards. And what you might actually see is it curls towards positive and you get a positive day. Now, what could also happen is you might actually end up just getting uh, an extended negative MACD. And this one is known to have a little bit of extended MACDs. So it might be a little bit of a dangerous sign. You want to look for a sign where the MACD goes positive. That might be time to buy and flip it or average down and try to sell it a little bit later on that day. Stock price seems to have dipped below the 50 SMA uh, for the second time in the last three days. Uh, VWAP is basically just hovering exactly around the price um, and the 200 SMA is still under the stock. So basically what we're looking at is a warning sign, but it could be bullish. Uh, but at the same time, the stock is asking you, is telling you that it's unstable. Uh, just to kind of cut it down short. Now going on towards averages, and we're going to do here quickly is change the ticker, and we get to look into uh, the moving average here in CN is actually, uh, the moving average band is below the price, so that might be a little bit dangerous where you can get to see a significant drop. But very something very significant here is that the 10 SMA is curling quite quickly towards the 200 SMA, so that might, that's just an interesting observation here for us. Moving on towards uh, things like Supports, Fibonacci retracements, try to identify them quickly. We get to see that the Fibonacci retracement sits nicely at 0 0.80, and it seems that that's where the major support is sitting at. Now, the next kind of support, traditional traditional support, is around 0.75. Moving on forward around 0.71. Next resistance is sitting in around 0.85, and on Fibonacci is around 0.88. Traditional is sitting around 0.9, and forward 0.93, and hitting the $1 mark on Fibonacci retracements. Uh, now going on towards trends, try to identify those trends. Now, what you might actually be seeing here is a pattern. I'll just discuss it in a second. But this is the current trend, and it hasn't been broken yet based on this one here. Now, the previous trend was broken, and it was somewhere around very close to here. Now, that did break indeed, but that's the current trend. It hasn't been broken yet, and it seems still to be on uptrend. Now, this trend is based on... Uh, two days ago so that's where the massive dip has occurred here and that's why it's touching it but it still seems to be positive moving on towards uh general here what you might actually be seeing here and that might be a little bit dangerous is heads and shoulders and that's a bearish sign but it did got reject get re got rejected by a massive green so that's a good sign here what you might be seeing here is a squeeze and that's interesting here so you might have a squeeze that might look something like this, although I wouldn't be considering it very much off. Uh, whoops, actually, 
this band here. Somewhat, somewhat like this here. Sorry, my mouse is a little bit messy, but uh, you might actually be getting a little bit of a squeeze, almost in a bull flag style. So that as well is a bullish sign. They get to see a, some <laughs> mixed messages here, but um, here is the next catalyst coming in. And I expect a PR or something about it. Uh, they're sponsoring the Cancer Genomics uh, at, happening on August 3rd and August 4th as a platinum sponsor. So that might be mentioned later on. Uh, the latest news was on Friday, uh, and it's the COVID-19 host genome structural variant formed by Dr. Uh, so basically, this one here is based on the research, again, related to COVID-19 perhaps. So it seems like there is good news here. Thank you very much. What do you think about the sticker? Make sure you mention it down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and you have a wonderful day.